Hey gents, I'm rocking this beautiful custom Tessa Tordamonti linen shirt and it just feels good to wear, but it doesn't look great with my at-home pants. I need to wear a nice suit. So I'm opening up my second delivery from Lignetti. And this one has been, uh, it was a little bit delayed because they actually ran out of the fabric from my original suit. And so while typically their delivery times are like four to six weeks, they're, they're pretty fast for the suit world. Uh, these ones are a little bit delayed. So what I did is I ordered, uh, you can see my unboxing of my uh, gray silk and wool suit. And I ordered a second one that was, and, and that one came in at about $1,100. And I wanted to order one that was closer to what I've gotten from Suit Supply and Oliver Wicks in the past. So this suit I believe comes in at that like $499, $599 price point. But I also added in um, a second pair of pants and a vest that I will be talking about separately as well. And this is the suit that I ordered in store and was measured by the professional at the Lignetti store and versus the other suit which I measured at home. So I'm comparing the two different measurement styles and I'm excited to dive in to my second suit from Lignetti. I was very impressed with the first one that I got and so let's dive in here to my second suit. As I noted in my last video, uh, this is one of the better garment bags that come with these made-to-measure suits that I have tried out. There we go, you can see the button here. It would actually be pretty good for travel. And then it comes with an awesome wooden hanger, which is a nice bonus on top of this here. So as you can see, I have this navy chalk stripe double-breasted piece. Got my custom pants in there. This is a Reda fabric. This is a Super 110s. It's so not the finest wool, but that is what you get what you pay for. I did little peak lapels on here. I just want nice and, you know, pretty conservative. And then I have uh, the dual sided on the back. And just a nice subtle, you can see the red piping. And I am just dying to get this guy on. So let's open up the second box because I also have my second pair of pants, a vest. Because what I've learned so far is that every time I've gotten a suit, I wish I would have just gotten the vest with it. One of the things I've learned after ordering all these suits is I, I keep wishing that I would have gotten the vest uh, as I ordered it, so now I'm just gonna start doing that every time. And I don't think you need a vest with a double-breasted suit because the point is to have that nice V shape, and I think you get that with a double-breasted just fine. But uh, you know, the waistcoat just adds something to it. So let's get this thing on. All right, Italians do fit really well. I am impressed with this suit. And if any indication, I wore this in one of my last videos and everybody's been asking about it. So I'm really excited to dive into this one. So let's just jump to the five points, quality, fit, style, value, and overall experience. So from a 110's perspective on this suit, I wasn't looking for an all season suit and I got that out of this. Now also with the chalk stripe, I'm looking for this to be like a statement piece and also partially inspired by the Kingsman. How could I not be? But the wool itself feels really good. The construction is really sturdy. It's premium materials on the inside. Some of the cheaper suits I've gotten, you can feel in the lining and you can feel in the pockets. You feel in all these different places where they've cut corners. They have not cut corners here. Now this suit comes in at $600. It's no longer listed on their website, but you can find similar Reda fabrics. Unfortunately, I might have gotten the last one, but what you're getting with Lignetti is the ability to choose from any of these long-running historical Italian woolen mills, and so really it's going to be tough to go wrong on any of the choices you have. Fit is the most curious part of this suit for me because this is the suit that I was measured for in-store versus my gray suit, which I measured at home. The key to this is that the measurement engine or the measurement process that they have you go through has has these filters built into it. So when I first ordered my gray suit, I got an email from Lignetti that said, hey, this measurement looks wrong, this measurement looks wrong, can you check on that for us? And as I was entering it in, it even showed that there was like a red flag saying, hey, this might be wrong. Now, that is because I have an abnormal body size of 6'4", 170, I have very long arms and a short torso, but long legs. And so as I was putting in like my inseam, they said, hey, that doesn't look right. Now, from the in-store measurements, I had my fit profile and I just saw that all he did was tweak a few of the measurements in store, you know, added an inch here, took off a half an inch there. Keep in mind also that with these made to measurement suit companies, they're always looking to get you as a great customer and so they have a fit guarantee. Lignetti I think does $75 in credit so you can go to a tailor, have them alter it, they'll reimburse you for the difference and if they comes and they can't really get the right fit, then they'll do an entire remake, which I've done with other companies as well. I don't need to do that with this, but you have the option, the customer is always right, and if you like the selection from a certain company, make sure you get a fit right with them before you start to order more pieces.
This should also be the last suit where I have pooling at the top of the shoulders. Because I ordered both suits at the same time, I wasn't able to correct it on my measurement profile for Lignetti. But going forward, I know to select sloping shoulders with made to measure companies because that's why I've been getting that dent or that pooling at the top of my back. For styling, I think it is a differentiator for a Lignetti because they do have the option to just give you every fabric they could ever source from their woolen mills, but they are really keen about tailoring the selection that you have to certain seasons or certain collections, which is why the uh, suit right now that I have ordered is no longer available. It's why the gray one is probably something that will be replaced in the spring. So they have these cyclical collections where you'll be able to select from very on-trend and very in-style suits, also classic ones just like a gray or a navy. And as with other made-to-measure companies, you can order a swatch library, so if you pick some of the fabric that you might want to get. You can order the swatches for free. They'll send them to you and then you can make your selection from there. But you can not only accomplish a classical Italian style like I believe this double-breasted suit is, but you can also uh, make some more modern changes to it. My pants break isn't quite Italian. It's a little bit longer, more Americanized, more contemporary. But it is the great slim fit look that I like to have. The lapels aren't too trendy and skinny. They're they're on the medium side, not as wide as I've seen on from Brian on He Spoke Style, but maybe my next one. Overall value and price is where some people won't want to go into the premium space. You know, I opened my Elaine Dupati suit, which was $37. If you're looking to shop in that $500 range, it occupies an interesting middle. So it's not the $399 suit supply suits. You can kind of be served in that $500 price point with Lignetti, but it really occupies this interesting premium fabric price point. It's not a couple thousand dollars for a bespoke suit, but if you want to go with something like the wool and silk suit that I got, that one came in at $1,100 and it fits amazing and I love the fabric material on there. But then again, $600 right here for the double-breasted. I also could have done this in a single-breasted or anything else. All the suits are half canvas construction. I think they're going to be adding full canvas, but as of this morning, I couldn't find the option to do it on the website. Suiting really is one of those categories where you get what you pay for, and I do think you're getting a lot of value for your money with Lignetti suits. Overall experience has been really strong from beginning to end. The customer service in between, the garment design on the beginning, so plenty of options in the rendering engine. Same thing with the buttons. If you look, it's a my, my buttons are a very deep blue, and so it's a subtle but ultimately noticeable option on there. And so those are the types of things you can do with the suit. The customer experience, like I said, they emailed me asking if my measurements were correct so that I wouldn't have to go through the back and forth. And although I ordered right kind of in the middle of summer holiday, I knew that their factories were shut down. They still ordered very quickly, so I know you can get it as low as three weeks, which is what you'd expect from some of these made-to-measure companies. But even you know three to five weeks is, is about what you'd expect from most of these companies. It is a pretty cool difference that with Lignetti, everything that you get from the raw materials and instruction is all done in Italy by Italians. You know, some of the other made and measure suit companies, like I think Black Lapel, might have some non-Chinese made fabrics, but if a company doesn't really disclose where the products are made and where the fabrics come from, it's probably China or, you know, some part of Asia. There are plenty of reasons that shoes made in Italy cost more than shoes made in other parts of the world, and I think you're going to see a similar thing with suiting, but it's not that much more of a premium. There you have it, gents. Let me know what I missed down in the comments below. I usually miss something in these videos. You can do that down below or over at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. You can ask me a question about Lignetti itself. This second suit that I got, my first suit that I got, I absolutely love both of them. They've become one of my primary ones. I did just place an order for articles of style so I know I've gotten a lot of requests on that one if you have any other companies I know Hockerty is the other one and I Taylor and if, if I'm missing any suit companies that I should be taking a look at I have a brand tracker down below it's a Google Doc where you can edit add companies in there and that's where I'm trying to pull my future videos from there's a $100 off code below it's just whatever referral program they have you use that you'll get a discount it's win-win and then maybe if enough of you guys use one I'll buy a tuxedo because that's like that's really the last thing in my wardrobe that I don't have like the last piece but I also need to go to more like fancy things where I would wear a tuxedo, uh, but for now, still, I want to, I want to sleep in this thing. I love it. So until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Holy fuck, I'm about to die. You used to say, don't be angry. Angry for no reason, lifted up inside. What the hell? There we go. Maiden GB.